This is the uh, power cable that came with my TiVo Tarantula and as you can see it's a universal plug on the back so you can use one of these which just simply plugs in then you wire up to the um, power supply or you can have this physically removed and replaced with a plug uh, that's suitable for your own power supply. Now obviously these things here are supposed to be tested by an electrician so if you wire up your own and don't get it tested and something goes wrong you've got no one else to blame but yourself. Um, personally I've got an electrician not far from here so I'll get him to double check even though I know it's going to be okay but better to be on the safe side. Okay, the uh, plug has been wired up and obviously I'll get it tested even though I know it's correct. It's still got to be done. Finally got that bit. Fitting in there nicely. And again I've added a little bit of uh, blue Loctite on the nuts on the other side to stop them loosening. When you're fitting um, the top bar on, there's a little angle piece that goes in here and there's one that also goes in here on either side. Uh, they're not listed so make certain you put them in to reinforce otherwise you will have a few problems like I did. I had to <laughs> add them after. And you can see them in here for the uh, when you're adding the lead screw. You can definitely see the little bracket up in the top. So, hmm, anyway, I've done it, happy with it, and continuing on. Installing the, um, what is that? It's a acrylic corner bracket. There it is there, sitting in position. Now, before I go too much further, obviously I will be squaring it up using an old set square from years ago. And uh, that'll make it... Uh, Absolutely perfect for printing. Little steps along the way make a big difference in the final result. A Z motor plate. Now installed. I'll lean it over a little bit and see if we can get a better view of it. So there you go. That's sitting in place. Okay, we've got the lead screw nut installed now. You can see it just sits there. The um, top picture must be a different uh, model because mine came with this sort of assembly at the bottom here. So it looks like there's more than one photo. Maybe that was a prototype, who knows. But it's definitely not my model. I've now installed the lead screw. You can see it sitting there. At this point in time I haven't secured this across. It's still fairly loose. Once I get the motor up the top end installed, then I'll tighten it up. Okay, the stepper motor has now been installed. It's sitting at the top there. The hot end plate is sitting in position right there. Goes together quite nice. Make certain when you're tightening up, just be very careful because you're going into an aluminium block, you don't want to uh, strip the threads. I've also put uh, blue Loctite on these because I don't want them uh, coming undone. At least this time they've given you a belt schematic to work off. It runs through the middle of the extrusion, up around and back. So it's um, pretty pretty easy, pretty straightforward. There's the belt sitting in there, as I say, running through. Um, yeah, not a problem. The uh, heated bed is now fitted. Springs are there. Pretty easy to fit, actually. It's probably about the easiest part out of everything so far. The extruder bracket is now mounted. Uh, 
Okay, this is a printhead carriage installation we're at. This little bit here is an end stop, and it's shown here as an end stop. If you try and find that, you're going to have a bit of an issue because they're actually connected to cables. And uh, that's a cable there. Okay, so there's two of these cables which can be split down the middle, and uh, that little switch on the end is called an end stop. So there you go. Now you know. What you can see here is the uh, wiring that I've done for the end stop. I've just simply stripped the wires, popped a little bit of uh, shrink wrap over the two of them. I've got a larger one down the bottom which I'll slide over. So basically I'll be just tinning both of these little wires and then soldering it onto the component here. Now this contraption, if you're wondering what this is, this is called Helping Hands. Absolutely brilliant for um, soldering. Highly recommend it. So what the helping hand has done, um, you can see I've got the switch itself here, I've got the two wires being held by the other little adjustable claw, and to solder, it's just a piece of cake, you just simply, I'll give that a bit of a clean, you just simply come under, give it a bit of a touch, and that's it, that one's done.